What is going on everyone, Matesh here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to sideload updates to your Pixel phone so you don't have to wait for Google to eventually roll out those updates to your phone. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to bypass all that, get the official updates on your phone. Now for this you're not going to need any other special tools other than you're going to need a computer and you're going to need a USB-A to USB-C cable most likely because most computers still don't have USB-C plugs. If you, yours does, great, you can just use the cable that came with this. But Otherwise, you will need to buy a USB-A to USB-C cable. But that's all you really need. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. So the first step to do this is to become a developer on your phone. Now, if you're not someone who's already done this before, you're going to have to go to the About Phone inside of Settings. So you go into the About Phone. And then at the very bottom, you see this build number. You have to tap this seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'll start showing you messages. And then once you're here, you can just put in your PIN number. And there you go, you've got developer settings now. But they won't show up in here like they used to. Instead, you'll have to go back out, go to system, click on advance, and then there you go, you have developer options. Now you're gonna have to go in there and scroll down until you see this one, USB debugging, and you're gonna wanna turn that on. It'll ask you if you wanna allow this, blah, 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 just hit okay. And that's pretty much it for turning on debugging mode on your phone. Okay, so once you've got USB debugging turned on on your smartphone, what you're going to need to do next is download a couple tools that you need on your computer along with the OTA update. So the main tools you're going to need is these platform tools from that Google provides from Android Studio. Now, you, could, you would get these if you were actually a developer and you downloaded the full Android Studio app. But if you just need these tools, you can just download them here. So they've got it available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So since I'm on Windows, I'm going to go ahead and click on that and download Download it. You will have to agree to these conditions and all that. Um, I'll go ahead and do that. And you're going to want a place to put this. So as you can see, I've already downloaded it here and I've already created a folder. But you can just go ahead and download it there, unzip it, and then put it inside the folder. So let's go ahead and open that up. So let's go to desktop, platform tools, and you can see I've already got this folder of platform tools here. And the next thing you want to do is download the OTA image. Now, now, like I said, OTA images are provided directly by Google for Pixel devices. So you can see it's got Pixel 4, Pixel 3a, Pixel 3, Pixel 2 XL, Pixel, even the Pixel C, all the way back to like a lot of older devices. But the one we're interested in, for me personally, is the Pixel 3 XL. If you go here, you can see you can look for all the different updates that have been throughout the month. So if you're on the November 2019th, what you're going to want to do is download the December 2019th. If you're on the October one, you have to download both the November and the December and flash them sequentially. So that's something to know. But once you know which one you're at, you just click on that link button and it will ask you to download it. I've already got a download on my folder, so I'll just go ahead and open that up. Uh, so it's right here, this crosshatch OTA, blah, 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 blah. Very long name. You don't need to worry about that, but there it is. Now, what you're going to need to do is use this ADB tool to flash it on there. But before we do that, first we need to go back to the phone and get it into side loading mode. And before we get to the next step, you are going to require a most likely a USB-A to USB-C cable. I have my one from the OnePlus here. That's what I'm using. Um, you Google only sends ships USB-C to USB-C cable. So hopefully you guys have one of these. If you haven't, I'll have some link down below that you guys should definitely just go ahead and pick one of these up because let's face it, these are just a little bit more convenient than the USB-C to USB-C cable. So anyways, you'll need one of these and what you can do is obviously plug your phone into the computer. And since you turn on USB debugging, you will get a little pop-up like this one right here. And there you just need to say, okay, you give a debugging rights. And I would just go ahead and if it's your personal computer, just go ahead and say always have those rights for the device. So that way you'll be clear even if it's not. Now, next thing we're gonna do is actually go to command prompt. Now this might be scary for some of you out there, but trust me, it's not, it's not that scary. So we're gonna go ahead and open up command prompt just by opening the Windows menu and typing CMD. And that'll come here with this command prompt. Now here we're gonna need to navigate over to where we put our folder. So if you guys put it in the same place that I did inside of a, inside the desktop under platform tools, under platform tools, um, this is how you would do it, but let me just go ahead and show you how to do the generic way. So what you're going to want to do is type dir, and that's going to list out all the directories from where you are currently. So here you can see that there's this one called desktop. That's the one we want to go to. So we're going to type cd, which is change directory, cd, and then desktop. And you just have to type desk and then hit the tab button, and then it'll fill in the rest of it for you. If you want to type it in, you're welcome to type it in. So once you do that, you can hit dir again, and then it'll list all the things there. But uh, we already know we want the platform tool, so we're just going to do cd plat. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit tab just to save myself some time. You guys should definitely do this too. And then we'll put a little slash, and, and then we'll just type dir in again. And then you can see we've got the other folder, the platform tool, so we'll just type cd platform tools. 
and that's it. And then we're in the folder that we actually want to be in. So what we're going to do here is first of all run dot slash adb dot exe and then type devices because that'll tell us the number of devices that are that'll tell us all the devices that are connected to it. So the first time we run it, it'll take some time to turn on the daemon. And then you can see this is the device that I have connected. That is my Pixel phone. Now, once I know that it's connected, I can type in this command. It's adb reboot recovery. And that is going to force your phone to turn off and put it into recovery mode. This may seem a little scary because your phone's just turned off by itself and it's going to it's going to turn on like it normally would, but then you'll see this thing right here. Can you guys see that? I doubt you can, but it'll be a little try. It'll be a little droid with a triangle and it says no command. And then at that screen, you're going to push, you're going to, you're going to push the power and the volume up button together and hold it down. Then let go of the volume button. And then you'll be able to get to this menu right here. It's a little tiny menu. The way you navigate this menu is by going up and down, up and down using the volume buttons and power is to select. So you're going to, go down until you find one that says apply update from ADB. And then once you get to that one, just hit the power button to go inside that menu. And then over here, it's just waiting for me to apply the update. So it's ready to do it. Now, if I go ahead and go back to my command prompt, we'll do ADB devices again. And you can see the device is still attached. Now we're going to do ADB sideload and then the name of the file that you downloaded. So you don't have to unzip it, you can leave it zipped in. So mine starts with crosshat, so I just hit start typing cross and then hit the tab button, it'll fill the rest of it for me. And then you just hit the button and just hit enter. And on your phone, you should see that it's starting to open up that package and verify it and then it will start applying the update. So mine has started. And and if you guys can see that, I doubt you can, but it has started doing the update right now. So that while well, that's going, I'm gonna, and you guys can see actually right here, you can see it's starting to push the update over. It's at 18%. It will take some time because it's like a 1.3 gigabyte file, so it will take some time to transfer over. But once it's done, it's gonna go ahead and apply the update, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Your up update has been applied, and your phone will be learning the latest version of Android available for your phone. All right, so there it is. The update has been loaded onto my phone, and then I get this menu back again. Then we're gonna hit the reboot system now button, and just hit. You do that by just hitting the little power button on the side, and it should go ahead and just reboot in your phone back to normal. And that's it. That's all there is to it. You've updated your phone. All right, so there you guys have it. That is how you sideload any updates to your Pixel 3 phones. Once Google has put it out, you can just go to their website, download it, and then just sideload it using the method I just showed you guys. So it's really easy, really simple. It works really well if you're someone who wants to get the latest and greatest update as soon as possible. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Like this one if you like this. Subscribe if you guys loved it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.